Stanislaw with Motion VFX, and this tutorial is all about using M Transition Kinetic. I've got a short series of clips I've put together here, and I want to make them a little bit more interesting using some transitions. You can find M Transition Kinetic inside the Transitions tab of Final Cut Pro, then click on M Transition Kinetic. Each of the different transitions have some dynamic movement with some text elements right inside. Just drag and place one between your clips. Adjust the transition with controls inside the inspector. Change the text inside the text boxes and change the color using the color wells. Let's add a second transition between these clips. It's easy to adjust the duration by dragging the edge of the transition. There's 50 different transitions with unique movements to choose from. You may notice that all of our different transitions have a bit of a bulge and movement to it, and that can be adjusted right here inside the inspector. There's also controls for blur, lens opacity, and even the hue. Using the text controls, I think I'll adjust this and make this a little larger. All of the different transitions will have similar text controls for layout, style, and font options. Let's add one more and take a look at this one. You'll notice that when I play this one back, it's really dark here. And this is due to our drop zone B style control. And we can choose between inverted or default. I like this text, but I think I'll actually use it in a later transition. And I'll use these checkboxes to turn off the text layers. Let's add one more for review. I'll click and drag one and place in my timeline. I'll adjust the duration if necessary, and I'll make some further changes inside the inspector. Now that I'm all done, let's take a look. M Transition Kinetic makes it really fast and easy to add some excitement to your edit.